This is factoring by grouping. So you'll notice when you have a problem like this, you have about four terms in it, um, a lot of times there aren't any common factors. So we need to um, break down this into two groups that then we can find common factors for. So typically it will be um, the first two terms and the second two terms that go together. Um, you can rearrange them if necessary, but in this case, this works out great because 2 and 2a to the third and negative 8a squared have um, factors in common. 2 goes into both of them, and so does a squared. Now I just need to make sure that this is equivalent, what I'm writing out is equivalent to the first two terms in the parentheses, so um, a times a would give me a to the third, and then minus 4 is going to give me that negative 8a squared. Okay, now looking at 3 and 12, I have to figure out what factors they have in common, and we come up with 3. We can't say 3a because the 12 does not have an a, so that's not a common factor for the 2. Again, we'll notice a minus 4 is in the parentheses. Now, these two should be the same because that's going to help us. We're going to bring those down, a minus 4, just one of them, and then the other parenthesis, um, the, uh, the terms in the other parenthesis are going to come from right here and right here. So we have 2a squared plus 3. And that is our answer. And if we multiplied it out, we would find that we would get this. Let's try another. Okay, this next problem is actually supposed to be 9x to the third. Okay, oh, I'm just going to have to write over it. 9x to the third. I'm going to go ahead and group them because there's no common factor. I notice that 9x to the third plus 18x squared, 9x squared is the common term, x in order to get x to the third, plus 2, plus 1 is just x plus 2. You just go ahead and bring it down because there's nothing in common, right? So the question becomes how do I write my answer out? I see that these are the same, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those down, x plus 2. But then what's going to go in this parenthesis? 9x squared, which is from right here, but then there's no term to put right here we know from experience that really there's an invisible one in front of those parentheses. So I need to make sure that I put that one in my answer. So my answer is x plus 2 times 9x squared plus 1.